Lord in his goodness created us male and female, and by the gift of marriage found in human community in a joy that begins now and is brought to perfection in the life to come. Because of sin, our age-old rebellion, the gladness of marriage can be overcast, and the gift of a family can become a burden. But because of God, who established marriage, continues still to bless it with abundant and ever-present support, we can be sustained in our weariness and have our joy restored. Adam, will you receive April as your wife? and bind yourself to her in the covenant of marriage. Will you promise to love and honor her in true devotion, to rejoice with her in times of gladness, to grieve with her in times of sorrow, and to be faithful to her as long as you both shall live? If so, answer, I will. I will. April. Yes. <laughs> will you receive Adam as your husband, and bind yourself to him in the covenant of marriage. <clears throat> Will you promise to love and honor him in true devotion, to rejoice with him in times of gladness, to grieve with him in times of sorrow, and to be faithful to him as long as you both shall live? If so, answer, I will. Sure, I will. <laughs> Families and friends, and all those gathered here with Adam and Abraham, Will you support and care for them, sustain and pray for them in times of trouble, give thanks with them in times of joy, honor the bonds of their covenant, and affirm the love of God reflected in their life together? And so answer, we will. We will. We will. Let us pray. Gracious God, you sent your Son, Jesus Christ, into the world to reveal your love to all people enrich Adam and April with every good gift, that their life together may show forth your love, and grant that at the last we may all celebrate with Christ the marriage feast that it has no end. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. I want to read from the Gospel of John. On the third day when there was a wedding in Cana of Galilee, and the mother of Jesus was there. Jesus and his disciples had also been, involved, had been invited to the wedding. When the wine gave out, the mother of Jesus said to him, They have no wine. And Jesus said to her, Woman, what concern is that to you and to me? My hour has not yet come. His mother said to the servants, Do whatever he tells you. Now standing there were six stone jar, jars for the Jewish rites of purification, each holding twenty or thirty gallons. Jesus said to them, Fill the jars with water, and they filled them up to the brim. He said to them, Now draw some out and take it to the chief steward. So they took it. When the steward tasted the water that had become wine, they did not know where it came from, though the servants who had drawn the water knew. The steward called the bridegroom, bridegroom and said to him, Everyone who serves the good wine first, and then the inferior wine, after the guests have become drunk. But you have kept the good wine until now. Jesus did this, the first of his son in Cana, signs in Cana of Galilee, and revealed his glory, and his disciples believed in him. Adam and April, God intended that the basic unit of society be the family, and the perfect expression of that unit is the union of a husband and a wife together. That's no mistake. No coincidence that John uses the first or uses the wedding at Cana as his first sign of Jesus' revelation of himself as God's Son. Because it reveals a lot about Jesus, but it also reveals a lot about what God says about marriage and what God thinks about marriage and what the importance that God places <coughs> on marriage. Marriage is a place first of abundance. Those six stone jars which held somewhere between 120 and 180 gallons of wine 
represented an incredible abundance of wine. kingdom of God is a place of joy and is a place of peace for God to choose to reveal Jesus as his son at that place indicates God's thought that the marriage is a place of joy and is a place of peace peace and joy are not the same as happiness joy can be present in the midst of Sadness, peace can be present in the midst of great stress because it's the peace that God gives us. So I would say to you, as you enter into this covenant, do so with the assurance that God is blessing what you are doing here this morning. That God is with you to nurture and sustain you and to sustain you your whole life together through. Amen. And now, April and Adam, I invite you to declare your vows to one another in the presence of God and in this community. Adam, repeat after me. I, Adam, take you, April. I am. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm so excited. Tell me when you're tired. I, Adam, take you, April. I, Adam, take you, April. To be my wife. To be my wife. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold from this day forward. In joy and in sorrow. In joy and in sorrow. In plenty and in want. In plenty and in want. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. I, April. I, April. Take you, Adam. Take you, Adam. To be my husband. To be my husband. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold from this day forward. In joy and in sorrow. In joy and in sorrow. In plenty and in want. <clears throat> in plenty and in want. In sickness and in health. <laughs> in sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. As long as we both shall live. <laughs> as long as we both shall live. <laughs> this is my song. Let us pray. We give you thanks, O oh God of grace, for your love and faithfulness to your people. May these rings be symbols of the promise Adam and April have made to each other through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Symbol of my vow. Give this ring as a symbol of my vow. With all that I am, with all that I am, and all that I have, all that I have, I honor you. I honor you. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. of this assembly have joined themselves to one another as husband and wife those whom God has joined together let no one separate amen thanks be to God join hands please <clears throat> the Lord God who created our first parents and established them in marriage established and sustain you that you may find delight in each other and grow in holy love until your life's end. Amen. 
On this day of rejoicing, let us bless God for divine love made flesh in Jesus Christ. At the end of each petition, I will say, gracious and faithful God, and I will ask you to respond, hear our prayer. We praise you, O God, for the joy that Adam and April have found in each other, and we pray that their love and faithfulness may reflect your gracious love and enrich our common life. Gracious and faithful God, hear our prayer. Give them gentleness and patience, affection and understanding, readiness to trust one another, and when they hurt each other, grace to acknowledge their fault and to give and receive forgiveness. Gracious and faithful God, hear, hear our prayer. prayer. Use us to support Adam and April in their lives together. Give us a sense of your constant love that we may employ all our strength in a life of praise to you. Gracious and faithful God, hear our prayer. prayer. Strengthen and bless friends and family gathered here, even as we call to mind those who are absent from us. Console those who, who mourn the loss of loved ones and be present with those who for whom love is a stranger. Gracious and faithful God, hear our prayer. Look graciously on the world you have made and for which your Son gave his life. Strengthen marriages, families, and communities everywhere. Defend and guide all who suffer, want, or anxiety. Gracious and faithful God, hear our prayer. Strengthen us by the example of the saints and bring us, bring us all to the marriage feast of the Lamb. Gracious and faithful God, hear our prayer. Most gracious God, you have made us in your image and given us over to one another's care. Hear the prayers of your people, that unity may overcome division, hope vanish despair, and joy conquer sorrow. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. God Almighty, send your light and truth to keep you all the days of your life. The hand of God protect you, the holy angels accompany you, and the blessings of Almighty God, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be with you now and forever. Amen. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Adam and April Lewis. Yeah. <laughs>